Hey there, it's the Redneck Preppy with you, and today we got ourselves a review. Calipers. If you're a reloader, you already know what those are. If you're a reloader and you don't know what these are, you might want to stick around. At any rate, calipers, they kind of, like many things, fall into three broad categories. One side, you got yourself the cheapo Harbor Freight Princess Auto ones. On one side, you got yourself the fancy mid Toyos with their heavy price tag, but well deserved. And in the gray middle, you've got things like this the eye gauging Origin Cal calipers. Not as expensive as the Zimda Toyos, better ostensibly than the Princess Auto Harbor Freight ones. But we're going to find out because along with unboxing this and just basically going over this, I'm actually going to do what a lot of YouTube reviewers have not done with this caliper and any calipers for that matter. I'm actually going to measure them against the known quantity. So stick around if you're curious. Anyway, let's get into them. So box. Enjoy accuracy. Will do. Uh, they come in your standard box that most calipers do. Uh, these are no better or no worse than the expensive calipers I've seen. I don't know why people don't spend money. Uh, anyway, opening it up, you get a certificate of calibration, which is a bit dodgy because everything is pre-checked off already. Hmm. And the inspector, which used to be a name back in the day, is now just QA3. That kind of sucks. But somebody did handwrite the serial number, so there is that. Yeah, anyway, not much to that. You get your instructions, and if anybody ever tells you that these aren't made in China or they're a Chinese company, you just read them this line. Corrosion will cause the trouble. Pay heed. Uh, at any rate, the specifications are on this, and they are actually pretty good. Resolution is, uh, you know, five thousandth of an inch. Battery life is more than two years, which is darn good. Uh, the accuracy is within a thousandth of an inch. So that's pretty good. Measuring speed unlimited, uh, and it has, or at least purports to have, IP54 protection from humidity and dust. So that's pretty good. And it uses A, because you get an extra one, standard CR2032 batteries. So not some kind of crazy button battery that you have to go hunting around. If you're a gun guy or gal, you probably have a ton of these CR2032s just sitting around. All right, the calipers themselves. Ain't gonna be nothing uh, new and exciting here. The calipers, they look like every other darn caliper that it's ever been made. It's a six inch caliper. Uh, as you can see by the display, it does measure to ten thousandth of an inch. So that's kind of good. Uh, it's got your on off button. It's got your zero and absolute setting. You've got, you can go in uh, millimeters and inches. I'm just kind of disappointed that they don't do fractional inches, you know, like three sixteenths and stuff like that, because that comes in useful when you're measuring screws and that. But on the back, there is a guide on how to uh, translate those numbers into fractions. And you got your locking thing to lock. Uh, as for the quality, there isn't that much play between the jaws, uh, usually with the cheaper ones. I mean, there is a little bit, you can feel it, but not a horrendous amount. Uh, also, this button here, there is some play in it, as you can hear and probably see. That's kind of disappointing, but it doesn't actually impact the operation of it. Uh, the great thing is, they always return to zero. So you can do this kind of nonsense, which would murder a, a cheaper set of calipers. Boom, back to zero. Boom, zero. That is one of the cheap uh, conceits of this caliper is it always returns zero origin cal, after all. Pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, are they made of Toyos? No, but they're actually pretty good calipers. I can't really uh, complain about them. I've used them now for a couple of weeks and I find them to be much superior to the decent pair of calipers I had, but not as good as these calipers. Yeah. I would recommend them, and that's what you're getting. Oh, I should mention also the battery compartment is there. Uh, it is sealed with a gasket and very difficult to remove, so that kind of aids in the water protection and water resistance, whatever you want to call it. And up here is a USB connection, 
sold separately by uh, iGaging, but apparently uses the same cable as the Midi Toyos and allows you basically to use these in prototyping. So, you know, you're taking your measurement and it's feeding that information to whatever CAD CAM software you're using. So you can actually, you know, take a whole bunch of measurements and the CAD CAM software will actually just put everything in its proper perspective. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I've never used that because frankly, I haven't had much of a use to feed data to my computer. I use these basically in reloading or measuring groups. Oh, that's it. Now, the meat and potatoes of this whole thing as to why I'm doing this. So many YouTubers have uh, reviewed these and given them very good marks. And the part of their process for reviewing them is they'll, let's say, trim a case and they'll measure it and they'll go, ah, they're perfect. That's exactly what the case is supposed to be. But the case is not actually a reference measurement. So what do you do then to actually show that these do measure what they're supposed to? Well, stay tuned. Okay, so accuracy measuring time. And you're asking yourself, well, how the hell are you gonna measure these redneck? I'm glad you asked my friends. We're gonna do them with these. These are gauging blocks. Basically, they are precision uh, steel blocks. These are one, two, three blocks, which would probably indicate that they are one, two, and three inch measurements that you can use as reference points or, you know, engineers can use these to, uh, as part of industrial drawings, they've got like an edge and they know that the edges are going to be exactly that far apart because that's what these are. These would purport to be 0 0.0002 inches within spec. So if it says it's three inches, it's going to be plus or minus two thousandth of an inch. That's pretty damn accurate. And well, let's find out. We'll find out how accurate these things are because really that's the meat and potatoes. And here's, here's your blocks. You get two of them. These aren't expensive. I paid something like $30 Canadian for these two blocks. And basically you've got your one inch measurement, you've got your two inch measurement, and you've got your three inch measurement. And of course you can stack these, so you've got six inches there, five inches, you know, you can play around with them and make your own inch uh, sizes up and reference points and whatever. At any rate, we're not here to uh, teach guys what six inches looks like, we're actually going to start measuring things. All right. This is so exciting. I haven't actually done this, so I have no idea how these are going to actually perform. Okay, so we are at zero. First test, we're gonna measure one inch and see how that works. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, sorry, gotta put them actually within the claw. Boom, one inch. Okay, so we know that the eye gauging is capable of doing a one inch measurement. Now, let us try two inches. Oh, oh there we are. Two inches on the dot. All right. Oh, this is exciting. Now we're going to go to three inches. Okay, and boom, three inches on the dot. Shall we try for four inches? Oh, this is going to be probably a bit of a cluster bleep now. Hmm. I have to somehow figure this out so that I don't drop everything. And yet also accurately measure everything. Oh, I had four inches there. This is very awkward trying to do this. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but four inches. So there you go. How accurate are the eye gauging Origin Cal calipers? Very accurate, I would say, because they measured those blocks out exactly what it was that they purported to be. So. Do I recommend the eye gauging Origin Cal calipers for reloaders and anyone else who needs precision uh, measurements? 
Yeah, I would actually. I find them to be pretty good. Uh, they've got a low battery uh, warning, uh, which obviously you didn't see because they've got fresh batteries in there, which is very useful because I find with cheaper calipers, one, they drain batteries quickly uh, within months. Uh, and that's not good. And two, when those batteries get low, you sometimes get goofball measurements, particularly when the caliper comes out towards the six inch mark, you'll see it just go crazy. Or other times it'll just add a phantom number to uh, a measurement. I had a pair of calipers that would consistently add exactly two inches to a measurement whenever it got to a low battery. That was often a clue to me that the batteries were low, but you know, if I wasn't paying attention, ooh, that could be a bit bad mistake when it comes to making ammunition. These, however, you're going to get a low battery indicator, so you'll know. And the batteries last two years versus you know four, five, six months with the cheaper ones. So yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend these. I think they're excellent. They fit a nice kind of gray middle where you don't have to spend a lot of money to good good calipers. It does measure to the. Uh, ten thousandths of an inch mark. I do find that that last place, the ten thousandth measurement, is more really uh, an approximation. I, I don't think that you can really count on that level of uh, precision. You know, as a wise man once said, all calipers are approximations. And the further you go out, the more of an approximation it is. I think you can reliably count on them four thousandth of an inch measurements. Past that, eh, I think it's just more of kind of like a selling point than it really is an actual uh, reliable indicator of measurement. But yes, I would definitely recommend these. Buy these. You can find them on Amazon. Probably find them cheap. I paid something like 60 or $70 Canadian for them, maybe $80. So you'll probably find them in the United States for about 60 bucks. If you need calipers and you're a reloader, Pick up the eye gauging origin cow. Unless you got money and you want to buy yourself, you know, some mid Toyos, then go crazy. At any rate, thank you for watching. I hope this video was marginally entertaining and useful. May all your shots ring true and have yourself a great day. Bye.